what got people it is Tuesday the 13th of August and today we are probably gag to the Jackie Museum should be good we can hurry up because it's about like 11 o'clock right now and we wanted to hang out early but I slept in we're gonna head there now and uh, see what it's like so let's go Well, cool, but it's great. How much is it? I think it's $50. Oh my god. You can like actually move it. I don't find the actual book. Really weird. It looks like it's moving. I don't think it is though. Oh, I can't move it. Hey what's up guys, we are back from 
the Gecky Museum. It was actually really cool, like, it was a really, like, cool building. It looked so, like, well laid out and stuff. And uh, I really liked some of the water features. Uh, I thought they were quite cool. I, I don't know why, but I just wanted to go, like, paddle in some of the water features. And I was just about to have something to eat. And then I think we're going to go out uh, to House of Meatballs a bit later on. But I got happen from drink, I uh, will show you some of the stuff that I got from the uh, gift shop at the Gecky Museum. I got quite a lot of stuff, probably more, I probably spent more than I should have. I've just spent quite a lot in there. But um, I did get some pretty cool stuff, so uh, I'll show you that. So I'm just having some leftover curry that I had uh, last night. And uh, it was really, really good last night. It was so tasty, so... I will eat this and then I'll show you what I've got. What I've got? So in this bag here, it's a very nice bag, and I'll show you what I've got from the uh, Getty Museum. So the first thing I've got is this really cute little uh, notebook, and uh, it's like the colour of it is like really old fashioned and it's got a nice pattern on it. It's a nice little uh, notebook, really nicely decorated. You've got the spy mail with like little bumps on it. And the cool thing is, you can actually lock it, so if I try to open it now, it doesn't open. But if I do this, it opens, and it's just got like lines in it and stuff, so it's really nice. And uh, the paper, when it's closed, it looks like gold, and, and it got, got a nice little pattern on it. It's just a really sort of quirky little book. I don't know, like books that look this nice, sometimes I just don't really use them, I just want to keep them as like decoration, you know what I mean? I don't want to ruin it, like, by writing in my messy handwriting or whatever. But it's such a nice book. I love it. So this was... Okay, it had two prices. In the USA, it's $26.95. And in Canada, it's $29.95. So it's a bit more expensive than Canada. It literally says that it's got two different prices, depending on where you get it from. That's so weird. So yeah, the book's great, open like that. Let's see you in. Got some nice line pages. It's a really nice notebook. Probably my favourite notebook I've ever had. So then the next thing I got was... So because like, um, the Getty is kind of like an art museum, there were loads of like art and craft stuff in the store and there were loads of like pen sets and good stuff like that. But I found these like pencils. I got two like the one for me and one for Miss Lloyd and they were really weird pencils like they had like multiple different colours at like the I don't know what type of pencil colour but I just wondered like what would happen. Got like three different colours, blue, purple and yellow. You can see that. And so I, I just wondered what it would look like, like when you write on it. Because it, I've never ever seen a pencil like this. This is probably the, the most amazing pencil I've ever seen so I'm going to try it now. Let's see how this works. Whoa! This is actually so cool. It, like, it kind of changes colour like, when you write. Like, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of like blue or like, a bit purple. And it, it just like changes colour if you keep writing. It looks so cool. That is so awesome. I've never ever seen anything like that before. Like, these are really cool pencils. So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna keep one for myself and I'm gonna give one to Miss Lloyd, get the little gift. So I think she'll like it. So it's got some game of the museum on the pen as well. On, on the pencil, not the pen. So then the next thing I got, so I really wanted to get like something like really colourful. So I got this and I'll be honest, I don't actually know what it is. You sort of have these little blocks and I think they're all stuck together. And you can like make different shapes with it, but I don't actually know how it works. Is it like a puzzle or? I'm just gonna open it up now. Okay. How do you work? Whoa! Wait, what? Is it like magnet or how does this work? Okay, I don't think it's magnetic. Is it literally? Oh, it's like tied in with like string, but it's not. Whoa! So you can just like mold it round into like whatever shape you want. It's not like a kind of when it's all like messy like that. I prefer it sort of like a like a sort of more flat shape. Like 
like the hook on thing. But that's actually really cool. Like, I could just play with this for hours. How small can I make it? I wonder. I don't know whether this is going to be such a boring video. Just watching me playing with like cubes and bricks. Or we can make like a little bracelet. Can like make one with a hole in it. There you go. I just made myself a little bracelet out of block. Alright, I'm going to keep that on for the rest of the video. And then this is like the final thing I just decided to grab because I thought it looked cool. I literally don't know what I'm going to do with it. Well, I got this. I got a giant pencil. I've never ever had a giant pencil before. And I always see them in like the near shop. I've always wanted one. But this one is like the longest giant pencil I have ever seen. Ooh, I just realised it has like all the colours. The rainbow down here. And it says like the name of the colours. So we've got red, orange, tangerine, yellow for ya. Chartreuse. Chartreuse. I've never heard that colour before. Green, yep. Olive, teal, I actually love teal. Aqua, cornflower. Cornflower? I don't know, well, it's like, it's like a shade of blue, like the one I've got my finger on. That's cornflower. I've got blue, grape. Grape aren't that colour. Grape are more purpley. Got violet, yep. Um, magenta, that's not magenta. I'm going magenta. I thought magenta was like more little purple than that. Then we got pink, petal, grey, smoke and chocolate. Oh, I'm going to the, the weird colour naming because it's actually a really cool pencil. Oh my god. I'm glad it came with like a sharpener because like I, I wanted to get one of these, a giant pencil, but my, my thing was how would I sharpen it. I'm glad it got a sharpener, but now I realise that it's going to like get rid of more colours the more I use it so now I don't want to use it I'm just gonna like, I'm not gonna use it I'm just gonna like keep it and like pop it up like in a corner or something I just can't use it, it's, it's too nice I'm sorry, it's just, it's just so nice like the way, it, can you see all the colours? the camera even picked that up like got all the colours on the side there it's a nice, it's a nice pencil okay so that is all the stuff that I got, I'm gonna take this off I'm sorry, this is just really annoying me. I'm not going to start, but you can it again. So that is all the stuff that I got from the um, Getty store, from the Getty Museum. It's actually a really cool museum, I definitely recommend it if you're in Los Angeles. Um, not only is it like the museum interesting, if you just want to like get a good view of Los Angeles and the skyline and stuff, it's a perfect place to get that. There are loads of like observatories, like viewing points for the city and it's like really really high up as well so you get a really good view and so yeah if you just want to do that it's brilliant for that as well or if you just want to get some food there it's got, got a cafe, restaurant it's got everything basically you don't ever have to leave, we don't want you to leave and I'm probably going to be finishing with this for the rest of the day I feel like I can make a cool shape with it yeah I might just like stand it up on the, on the bedside table like this. How oh, really cool. And the thing is like a lot of people get like bored with art and sculpture that they have in their house. So at least if you have this it can you can like change it to something every day. So it'll look like something in your house has changed and your environment changed and stuff. This would be so creepy. Imagine like if you have like this in your house and you didn't touch it and then like the next morning you wake up and it was in a different position to the one that you left it. Wouldn't that creep you out? That'd be so weird. I really want to show Miss Louisa. I actually think she would love this. This is great. This is my work of art. I love how it's like all connected together, together. I just know that if these were like individual blocks, I would lose them straight away, just like that. Anyway, that's all I got from the museum. Here's the next clip, if there is. Or if this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye!